What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have a huge mail day. This is potentially the biggest mail day I've ever had on my channel. Just a ton of packages here. I have some packages for the upcoming series of the fire packs. I have some personal pickups. I have some break results. Uh, so a lot of stuff here. I think there's like eight or nine different packages and there are some really, really cool cards in here that I am excited to open. So uh, you guys are probably watching this while I am out of town on vacation. I am recording this on Saturday, June 6th uh, because there are a few cards in here that I would potentially like to include in my BGS submission that was actually due this weekend. So I will be sending out cards in a day or two, uh, probably on Monday. So I wanna go ahead and get these packages open, check them out and see if I can include them with my submission. And also just wanna go ahead and get this video recorded because like I said, I will be on vacation likely when this is uploaded. So I wanna continue to bring you guys some content on the channel and this one should be a really good one. So uh, we uh, shouldn't have a giveaway or anything going on. So we'll just go ahead and hop right in. And uh, this one might take a little bit. Like I said, there's a lot of packages here, a lot of cards to go through. So uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy hopefully some pretty nice cards. And it should be a pretty wide variety. I know there's some, no, just, there's some baseball in here, a lot of basketball, and that might be about it. What is this one? Kind of struggling to get this one open. There we go. All right, so this was an eBay pickup. And that is my guy Seiku, as you guys can see. If I can get this out of here. What in the world? <laughs> Sorry about this guys. I don't understand. I don't know how they wrap that. I'm just gonna cut into that. Sorry about that. Wow, that was the hardest package to open I think I've ever had. All right, so there we go. A uh, This is the Hobby Exclusive Red Seiku. And I just thought this looked really, really nice with the uh, red on the Pistons uniform. And the blue, the, I, think, I just think this one looks really nice with the red and the blue that matches the uniform. So I am a big fan of the different parallels that match the uniform. I know a lot of people out there are also. So very nice one there, hobby exclusive. And this one was pretty cheap. Uh, now the reds are not numbered, so really have no idea the print run on these. But uh, I think I'll pick this one up for like 10 bucks. So pretty cool card there. Uh, might look at that one and see if that one has potential to be graded, but uh, you know, like I said, that one's not the biggest card in the world, so we'll see. And next package. Now, on some of these, I have absolutely no idea what they are. So let's see here. Oh, okay, there we go. So this one actually took quite a while. This was another eBay pickup and uh, picked this up quite a while ago and took forever to come in. So again, the red hobby exclusive red parallel of Kobe White. So that one's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess I guess these, these blocks here, they kind of match with the uh, team colors. So red parallel with the red bulls as well. And then that one has the blue for the Pistons. So a couple of hobby exclusive red parallels. This one was quite a bit more than the Seiku. I wanna say I paid like 40 bucks or something like that for that one. So we'll be looking this one over. This is one of the ones I, I wanted to get in and look over for um, the BGS submission. So we'll check that one out and hopefully that one will be in good enough shape to, uh, to go. And moving on, next package. All right, so this one, I think this was a break with Mikey B. And this was a select baseball random team hobby break. And unfortunately, I got the Colorado Rockies, which is, I don't think that's really the team that you're looking for. And honestly, I had no idea what I hit um, because he kind of he kind of flew through the cards and stopped on the uh, bigger players, which the Rockies, I don't think, really have anything crazy. So. Jonathan uh, Daza, I guess. And then a Trevor Story, that's the Sensations insert. 
And then we did get a uh, relic card, uh, again, of Jonathan Daza. That is a silver, and that's gonna be numbered to 250. So, nothing crazy out of there, but that was a super cheap break. I think uh, it was like a, I can't remember. I think three boxes, random teams for like 20 bucks or something. Super, super cheap. So, unfortunately, nothing crazy out of there, but that's okay. Next package, so I, I can already tell this one is graded, so this is gonna be for a fire pack. And it is covered up. And it's gonna be PSA, and it's gonna be a Lonnie Walker, red, white, and blue. PSA 10. All right, so uh, most of the stuff that I have picked up here recently for the fire packs hasn't been too crazy, um, but I am definitely looking to pick up some more. I wanna pick up a few, like probably the biggest cards that have ever been in the fire packs. So just trying to find the right deals out there. So next package. I think this one's gonna be another graded card. This one is two graded cards. This package is not wanting to open. So this one, I think I might have picked this up on Slab Stocks, or Slab Stocks, uh, My Slabs. And this one, these two are gonna be a Kevin Porter Jr. Prism Base, PSA 10, and then a Darius Garland Base Prism, PSA 10. So again, nothing crazy on the cards for the Fire Packs, but trust me, there are a lot of good stuff, good cards coming. And speaking of that, I'm actually gonna pick one out that I have that I am <clears throat> considering including in the next series, if I can find it. Sorry about that, guys, I should have had that one picked out and before I show this I do just want to emphasize I am considering including this in the next series and uh, you know with with prices for graded cards being so outrageous right now it is really hard to find cards and be able to keep my price point for the fire packs at $75 so it is just a lot easier to use my own cards and uh, I've actually had this one up on eBay and I've had some decent offers, not quite what I want, but uh, I'm thinking about throwing this one in the next series. So we'll just have to see what I'm able to pick up, but this one uh, is probably like a 75% chance right now, right now that that might end up in the next series. So that one would be a pretty, pretty big chase card there. So next package, let's see what we have. Oh, there we go. So I was very excited about this one. So I was definitely late to the party on Project 2020. The first card I picked up was actually uh, from the web, from the Topps website, that is. The first card I picked up was the Ken Griffey Jr. that went for like 100,000 copies. So uh, my first card was pretty much everyone's first card out there as well. So, but that's okay. I am. Unfortunately, like I said, I was late to the party on these, but I do plan on picking up a lot more of these. I really, really like them, and I, I just like the whole project. So, pick this one up on eBay. <clears throat> and this one, boom. Yeah, that one, that one looks really, really nice, and actually pretty well centered someone actually sent one of these to me uh for the bgs submission right now so um <clears throat> some people are grading these but i am <clears throat> excuse me sorry i am probably going to keep this one in the case at least for the time being and just kind of see what happens but that is a very very cool card i'm happy to get that one in and unfortunately i was late on Tops Project 2020, wish I would have been earlier. I know a lot of people probably wish that, but I just really, really like some of these cards. I just picked up the most recent Trout as well from the website, I believe it was card number 100. This one is card number 51. So very, very cool, I'm happy to pick that one up. So I'm gonna put that one back in there and set that there. And now let's get into this package. <clears throat> And make sure you stay tuned for a little while longer because I'm saving some really, really cool break results for last. And this one is going to be another graded card. And this one's pretty cool here. 
So I actually got this one for a pretty solid deal, and I think this one is a really, really cool one. So this one is going to be a Brandon Clark, and this is out of Donruss Choice. So really, really cool card, Brandon Clark. 9.5, it is a min gem, it did get a nine on surface, but that is okay, still got the overall 9.5. So very, very cool card. I'm a big fan of the Donruss Choice. I actually just sent a Seiku on my last submission that was the Optic Choice, it had that same look to it. So hopefully that one will get a 9.5, but very cool card. So for the Fire Pack series, that was probably my favorite pickup that I, that I showed in this video. So now we'll go ahead and get into those break results that I just mentioned. And this came from Cardsmith's Breaks, and this was from Mosaic. And I'm actually gonna take that off camera while I open it. <clears throat> but this was a Mosaic Pick Your Team Break, and I actually went ahead and paid up for the Milwaukee Bucks because I was hoping to hit a Giannis stained glass and I am struggling to get this open um, unfortunately I did not hit that Giannis stained glass but I did hit some really cool cards and there are some peanuts in there let me get those out of the way and there we go and it looks like there is I think I was actually in another break as well sorry guys I made a mess over here so I think I was in a Okay, so I was in another break that had a bunch of hybrid or uh, fast break boxes. It was a mosaic fast break, optic fast break, select hybrid, and something else. And I got the Minnesota Timberwolves, so we'll start with that one first. So we got a Jarrett Culver base um, out of select, <clears throat> and Jalen Noel from uh, Mosaic. Nothing, nothing, KG, and then a Jalen Noel Select Hybrid, and then an Optic uh, Fast Break Robert Covington, and then our best card that we did get, ooh, quite a bit off center, unfortunately. I thought that one was gonna be off center from the video, but uh, that one is quite a bit off center, and that is the Jarrett Culver Prism Fast Break, just the base version. So that's kind of unfortunate that that is that off center, but that's okay. On to the, uh, the main main cards here that I was waiting on. Like I said, I paid up and got the Milwaukee Bucks in a, I think it was a three box uh, mosaic break. And this was Hobby. So we'll go ahead and start with the stuff that was not sleeved or top loaded. There's my guy, DiVincenzo. <clears throat> Another DiVincenzo. And a red um, Brooke Lopez. A red. Oh, wow, two. Two Brooke Lopez Reds, and then we got a Giannis Base, a Giannis Silver, which these are, uh, at the time uh, when I hit this, I looked on eBay, and these were like 50 bucks, somewhere in there. So this was one that I was looking forward to, to potentially grade, and then we did get a MVP's Base, and then we got a uh, Hobby Red Exclusive Giannis, which looks really, really nice. Kind of looks like a uh, Christmas card with the red and green. So we'll be checking that one out as well. The next one is a Mosaic Swagger, and that is the Mosaic Parallel. So very, very cool. Um, both these at the time when I hit them, they were both about $50. And then this one, I think was around like 20 or 30. So. Uh, pretty solid break. Like I said, I was really hoping to hit the uh, stained glass Giannis, but did not hit that, but still did very, very well. So these three cards, uh, I will look over after this video to see if they can be sent to BGS. And that is gonna do it for the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this mail day. Like I said, there was a lot of packages, a lot of cool cards. So let me know what your favorite card uh, that, I, that I just recently picked up was. I'd be interested to know. And hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.